Using the URL field in your events and task lists can be a really good way to streamline different things that you need to do within those events and tasks. For instance, if you have a Google meeting or a Zoom meeting or a Skype meeting, you can add the URL to that meeting in the URL field of your event edit screen and then hit save. And then as I've done here with this event, that meeting will be listed in your event and you can just tap on it and it will open up your Google Meet and you can join it right from your phone. You can also, if you have an appointment coming up with, say, a plumber and you need to give that plumber a call, you can make the event before you need to make the call and just add the phone number to that event so that you can easily access that phone number and make the call from within the event itself. So if you see where I tap on call plumber, there's a phone number here and I'm going to tap on that and you'll see it gives me the option to call send an SMS, or make a copy of that phone number. You can use the URL field to open up Slack, to open up WhatsApp to specific chats. If you type in the number that was used for WhatsApp, you can use it for Dropbox. And though Informant doesn't currently have the functionality to add attachments, a workaround would be to upload a file sharing service like Dropbox and then copy the link to that Dropbox in the URL field. Using the URLs just helps in getting things done from within the app itself without having to open up multiple um, screens on your phone.